It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this 15th day of September 2020. I am Adetola Kayode. As the world continues in the search for vaccines and cures for COVID-19, Nigeria has officially joined the exploration with the inauguration of a ministerial committee on COVID-19 herbal remedies and natural compounds. The Minister of Science and Technology of Bonaya Ono at the inauguration emphasized the urgent need to help develop a homegrown remedy and vaccine to tackle the virus. The team is expected to authenticate claims of herbal remedies and cures for COVID-19 made by researchers, scientists, and traditional medical practitioners through best practices. On, however, reveals that Nigeria, as part of the 173 countries, participated in COVAX, a global initiative to provide worldwide access to safe and effective vaccines. The United States of America has imposed fresh visa restrictions on Nigeria. This time, the limitations are on some persons involved in the rigging of elections in the Kogi and Bayelsa elections in 2019. The U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in a statement also said the visa restrictions is also extended to perpetrators of inappropriate actions during the forthcoming Edo and Ondo elections. Although the identities of the banned persons were not released, the U.S. says its actions is a commitment to strengthening democracy in Nigeria. It however condemned acts of violence, intimidation or corruption putting Nigerians and its democratic process in harm's way. As human and vehicular operations are gradually easing back to normal, Lagosians are expected to be on the alert and aware of their environment, especially on the roads. Governor Babajide Sonwulu and the Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, gave the advice when they visited the spot of the fatal accident involving a moving train, passenger bus and another vehicle. All passengers in the commuter bus escaped death with varying degrees of injuries, while the two occupants of a Toyota Highlander said to be a father and son who got stuck while driving into the shopping arcade died in the collision. Sonwulu and Amechi commiserated with the victims, regretting that the incident happened on a day when the federal and state governments agreed to shut the shopping complex gates because of the security concerns. He was portrayed as a hero in Hollywood movie about the Rwanda genocide or Tell Rwanda. Today, he's been charged with terrorism, murder and other crimes. He is Paul Resesa Bangina, leader of the opposition MRCD group, which was said to have an armed wing staging attacks on Rwanda. Resesa Bangina before now had been living abroad and a strong critique of the president of Rwanda, Paul Kigame. A U.S. and Belgian citizen living in Texas, Resesa Bangina's family believe he was kidnapped and taken forcefully back to Rwanda. Authorities in Rwanda, however, say the 66-year-old was arrested under an international warrant for leading terrorist movements. And that's it for today. Many thanks for connecting with News Drill. For more views, comments and suggestions, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and all other social media platforms. I am Adetola Coyote. And just before I go, if you so much love your kids from ages 12 downwards, keep them strapped at the back of the vehicles and not at the front passenger seat. Have a lovely day.